Good afternoon from Thailand, from the international, Chang International, sorry, Chang International Circuit at Buriram. We're here for rounds five and six of the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. Very much looking forward to the action. You can see the cars are down on the grid and they are getting ready for round five. And this is how the championship stands coming into this weekend. So Maxime Juste leading overall on 91 points from Nico Menzel. That's an 11-point lead, so a healthy lead for him. Andrew Tang in third, took a win last time out in Japan. Zhang Da Sheng and Mitchell Gilbert are your top five. In Class B, Yuan Bo leading by 12 points from Futikorn in Thrafuvasak. Francis Char, Wayne Shen and Yui Tan. So lots more action to be played out this weekend. They are down on the start line and we are going to have a look at a lap of this fantastic circuit. You're on board with Andrew Tang who is in the Porsche China Junior Programme. Down towards Turn 1, important to get this one right, you can't run wide. If you run onto that Astro, you risk losing a lot of traction and this straight is very long. This is a Herman Tilk designed circuit. It was opened in October 2014, it's the only FIA Grade 1 circuit in Thailand. And this is a very big heavy braking zone, so a good opportunity for overtaking down into the hairpin. Into the right-hander Tang with a double apex, putting a point in the middle of the circuit, in the middle of the corner, allowing him to pick the throttle up a little bit earlier. And then on the gas, up towards this crest, into a very quick left-hander. So it's a little dab of the brakes, get the weight over the nose of the car and turn it in, here we go. And then roll the throttle back on. Out towards the outside, uses a bit of the runoff as well. Hard braking now, down a couple of gears. Second or third for this, depending on how quick you are. Through the left and the right. Now through here, I was talking to Maxime Juice this morning. He was saying it's very easy to lose rear traction as you try and pick up the speed. And you can see Tang feathers the throttle nicely through the left and the right. For another braking zone, down a gear in and back on the gas. And then braking again and turning in. Very, very long right-hander. This is turn nine, through a little dip, through turn 10. And it should be flat from the exit of turn nine, flat out, up towards the braking zone for turn 12. The last corner, braking very hard in towards the right, and then on the gas up towards the start finish line. So that was a lap with Andrew Tang in qualifying this morning around the fantastic Chang International Circuit. The grid is still forming up. And down on the grid, as always, we have our fantastic pit reporter, Jenny, who's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on and uh, who is looking good. Good afternoon, everybody. I know we always say Thailand is going to be really hot, but today has been extremely hot. I probably have over 40 degrees. But something really interesting is actually happening right now. We can see a um, lots of dark clouds coming in this way. So that could actually t potentially change everything. When I was spoken to Nico earlier, who hasn't been very happy with his qualifying results, says that could change everything. That could th make things really interesting. So now I'm going to talk to uh, Maxine Juice, who's obviously P1, has been doing really, really well and are leading the overall scores. I'm going to talk to him and see how he feels about the potential change in weather. Hi Maxime, how are you? Good, very good. Very good. Um, obviously it's been really, really hot. We're preparing for a hot day, but right now, as you can see, dark clouds coming in. How do you feel about that? Yeah, apparently there's a bit of a risk that uh, might be some rain, but uh, I'm not really worried about that. I'm just going to look after my start and everything and just make sure we keep the lead until the end. Yeah, sure. You've been doing so well this season and you're leading by 11 points. Uh, what's your strategy for today? Yeah, so far, Camden Racing have done a great team and my car is really good. I'm trying to do my best to win as much races as we can. And uh, today, once again, I'm going to try to do my job. And uh, if we can't win, I'm going to try to score the more, the more points as we can. But uh, I definitely want to go for the win today. Well, you're certainly in a very, very good position to win. Also, today is quite a unique situation where, uh, you know, the qualifying is quite early in the morning and we don't start the race until like almost like five o'clock. So what do you do in between to keep the energy up? I just went back to the hotel and sleep. OK, cool. Best of luck to you. Back to you, Andrew. Well, Maxime, with the secret for keeping the energy up is don't use any, just go to bed. So Maxime Juice has been back to the hotel. I know Rankin has done the same thing. The hotel here for the driver is very, very near to the track. And that is quite wise, of course, because it is, as Jenny said, very, very hot here. Let's have a look back at qualifying. We can see uh, 
where everybody was this morning's session. Maxime Juice fastest, as Jenny said, a 138.570. Zhang Dasheng with a great performance, pipping Martin Ragginger for second, just a tenth back. Ragginger only a couple of hundredths back off Zhang Dasheng's time. Scott Hargrove on his first outing here in Porsche Carrera Cup Asia, just two tenths, almost three tenths off the pace. Then Tang and Menzel, so only three tenths of a second between the top six. Yuan Bo, Shui Yue, Mitchell Gilbert and William Bamba, the rest of the top ten. Well, Jenny's down on the grid. We can see a wonderful shot there of the Borough Arm Circuit from the air. And Zhang Dasheng is with Jenny now. So let's see uh, his thoughts ahead of the race. Happy birthday, first of all. You're doing so well today. You're on P2. Yes, today's my birthday. I also got the P2 position. It's a very good position. And uh, thanks to my team. Thanks to everyone to help me to, to be here. Well, you're definitely on a winning streak today. What are you going to do whenever it does rain today? Uh, I have no idea. I just uh, concentrate on what I can do. Yeah. Okay, I think we have to leave, but best of luck to you. Thank you. Back to you, Andrew. We've got to leave. So Jenny saying we have to leave means they're clearing the grid, of course, so she's not allowed to stay down on the grid, unfortunately. But uh, that is a wonderful shot of the track from the drone. Looking down over the whole of this fantastic FIA-grade circuit. And uh, we've got cloud, as I say, in the distance. That's uh, a replay from our drone. We can tell because there are no cars on the grid. So uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic shot of the track. What you're not seeing is the weather, which is what the drivers are looking at from where they are. So behind our camera position, we have got some dark clouds in the sky, apparently. Are both the drivers saying they've just got to concentrate on what they can do. And, of course, what they mean by that is that they have no control over the weather. So there is nothing they can do if uh, the weather takes a turn for the worse. Grid starting to be cleared, and we will shortly be underway. Doors being closed on the drivers. The one minute board is up. Of course, they'll head for uh, a one lap warm up around the circuit. Engines being started, safety car pulling in in the background. Of course, we've got the medical car at the back of the grid as well. One waved yellow flag, and then the drivers will be off. You can see on the right-hand side, we have a lap counter of 13. We normally race over 12 laps in Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. Slightly shorter circuit here, I'm told, which is why they think they're going to do 13, unless they hit the time limit. But rear arm is 4.55 kilometres, if you're wondering, 2.83 miles. Maxime Juice on that front row. There is... The horn one last time. The 15-second board goes up. The tyres have been wheeled down into the pit lane. And that, of course, is spare tyres for if anybody has a puncture. But also, those wet weather tyres. Will the weather change or will we make it through to the end of the race on the slicks? I think everybody will be hoping for that. Decent race. Green flag at the back of the grid. And now... We've got some noise from the cars as they head off onto their warm-up lap. Good to see Ragginger back in the 86 car. Said he's been doing well in the European race that he takes part in. And if uh, you're familiar with this championship, then in fourth place there you'll see the car which is normally driven by Francis Char. And that this weekend, as I say, is being driven by Scott Hargrove. Scott, a vastly experienced racer. What can he do here? And he'll be, I believe, if I check my results, on the front row tomorrow. So he was quickest, Scott Hargrove was quickest in official practice one, fourth in official practice two. And of course, qualifying here is split between their two best laps. So your best lap, your fastest lap counts for round five, the first race of the weekend, and your second fastest lap for race six, round six, tomorrow's race on Sunday. Maxime Zhu setting the first and second fastest lap, so he's on pole for both races. Zhang Dasheng set the second fastest lap after Juice, so he's on uh, second place for round five. But it was indeed Scott Hargrove who set the third fastest lap. And that will mean that uh, he's on the front row for tomorrow's race. We'll look forward to that. Everybody warming their tyres up and just trying to get everything up to temperature and ready to go. Hargrove, as I say, is our newest driver who's close to the front. Started with karting, Skip Barber Racing School. A Canadian driver from Surrey in British Columbia. Uh, US F2000 racing and a Pro Mazda Championship as well on the road to Indy Program 2. Formula Ford Festival. 
went there with the uh, Team Canada scholarship and in 2014 won the Platinum Cup Championship in the IMSA Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge in Canada. So it'll be interesting to see some experience of Porsches, what you can do once the racing gets underway here. You can see the wet weather tyres absolutely brand new lined up on the tyre racks just in case they need them. So all the drivers will be hoping they don't. Uh, breaks up to temperature as well. Through the right and the left towards the end of the lap. I think that's turns 9 and 10. Everybody down in the pits looking on at their various timing screens and monitors to see. You can see the dip there in the background which is through turn 10. Nothing like the rise and fall of the last round at Fuji in Japan on board with Andrew Tang. Got a couple of live on boards for you. I think it's Tang and Infra Fuvasak in this one that we have cameras on with. Vertical Infra Fuvasak, who is the uh, second place runner in the Class B Championship, sitting seventh overall. Maxime Juice now with a final tyre warm. Just a little bit of spinning the rear wheels up. Try and get some temperature in. I spoke to Maxime this morning. It was him who talked to me around the various corners on the track and said about these Issues with keeping the rear tyres in traction. So tons and tons of steering everywhere, but struggling for rear end traction. Jus preparing himself at the front of the grid. Raginger behind him. On the left hand side, Zhang Dasheng and Scott Hager behind that. Andrew Tang. Behind Andrew Tang, you can see Yuan Bo, the leader of the Class B Championship with the bright yellow rims. And uh, on the left-hand side of the grid, Nico Menzel. Revs are up. We're good to go for round five. Oh, it looked like Maxime Juice had to dip the clutch. Juan Bo's gone backwards straight away. His teammate Mitchell Gilbert's going to come past. Uh, Andrew Tang moves across to defend, first of all. Thinks better of it. And uh, I think that's uh, Scott Hargrove. Looks like he's moved up in possibly into second place. And a spin for Raginger. Raginger's gone round. He's sitting in the middle of the pack, facing in the wrong direction. So an absolutely disaster for Martin Raginger. Who's gone round with him? Goodness me. So at the start, then, a bit of carnage. Zhang De Sheng, who's leading from Scott Hargrove. Nico Menzo having a look up the inside of Hargrove. Andrew Tang is in there as well. So where is Maxime Juice? Maxime Juice looks to have dropped a long way back down the pack. Need to wait for them to come over the time loop. See, Juice, I think, is that on the outside of the hairpin. We didn't see it. We were on the tight shot, unfortunately. Here's a replay of it. So, Juice is out wide. Ragging looks to have spun on his own. I'm not sure if there was contact or not, but Juice was, was going very slowly. There's Ragging coming back into the middle of your shot there. And another spinner in the background. 55 is Bao Jin Long. Right hand side of your picture, car 68. Championship leader Maxime Juice going slowly down the straight. We don't know if there was contact in turn one or not, but it is all going off now further down the pack. But that is a disaster for the championship leader if it is. And we need to be watching out then for Nico Menzel, who's currently in P3 in the 99 car, who's second place in the championship. Andrew Tang is in third, the number 10 car, Porsche China scholarship. Second place, Scott Hargrove, of course, won't be taking part in the whole championship. So. Bear that in mind for the risks these guys are willing to take to try and make some points up. But a disaster. And in the background there, Martin Raginger, normally one of the championship front runners, with a problem in turn one. Zhang Dasheng on the gas, comes down, crosses the start line. Scott Hargrove second from Menzel Tang, Gilbert, Shui Yue, William Bamba, El Bamba's younger brother is in there as well. And Yuan Bo. So 68, we are hearing, is off the back of the pack. That is Maxime Juice, the championship leader. Definitely has a problem, and I would suspect he's going to retire from this race. He's certainly not going to take any points home. Down towards that big breaking zone at the end. Hargrove would like to beat Zhang Dasheng, I'm sure. And we're hearing Raginger is in the pits as well, so getting all sorts of messages from race control from our television truck as well. There is uh, Raginger. I can see on my monitor here in the commentary position that Raginger is in the pits. And I'm sure we'll be getting out of the car any moment now. Andrew Tang runs a bit wide. Mitchell Gilbert in behind him. And uh, Shui Yue in the 77 car. Teammate, of course, to Yui Tan. 
Well, it's all gone off in the first lap here in Thailand at the Buriram circuit. There's Raginger out of the car. I really do wonder if there was contact between him, possibly between him and Maxime Jus. Jus also in the pits. The timing screen is showing that Jus has come in the pits. Raginger looks over his shoulder. Is he unhappy with someone or was it just a racing incident? It's a shame we didn't see it. It'd be nice to try and catch up with Maxime Jus if we could. I know Jenny's down there in the pits. Looks like they're looking at the front end of his car. So is Jus going to try and continue or is he going to climb out? The championship leader retires from the race. So Maxime Jus is out of this one. Shuts the door. And doesn't look over the moon. We will see if we can grab an interview with him as we go on board with Andrew Tang on the way down towards turn one. Into the right-hander over the kerbs. And Tang gasses it up down that back straight. Got to get it right on the exit there to carry the speed all the way down to the end of the straight. OK, and at the minute, Maxim Juice won't speak to us, which is fair enough because he's under an enormous amount of pressure and his championship lead may just have evaporated. So he'll be disappointed. At the front, Zhang Desheng continues to lead from Scott Hargrove. He's now coming under pressure from Nico Menzel and Andrew Tang behind. Looking in the background, Mitchell Gilbert in behind Andrew Tang. Through the left-hander. OK, Jenny is with Maxime Juice now, so let's see if we can hear from him. Here we go. Maxime, that was a little bit unfortunate, but it happened so fast. Um, you know, we just saw Martin sort of spinning out, and what happened? Can you take us through what happened up there? Yeah, I just missed my start, basically, so this is one thing. Then I was P2 or P3 uh, in the first corner. But the problem is from the driver who are not driving in the championship, Scott Hargrove and uh, Martin Raginger. They're just not driving the championship. They don't score the points, so they don't really care. And they don't understand that we cannot be three in the corner. So they're just driving there and just got me. I had nowhere to go because I have someone on the left, someone on the right. So yeah. uh, there is nothing I can do. Just uh, okay. that's it. I think just, okay. uh, yeah. Just yeah, I'm really sorry about that. But um, we'll see how everybody else goes and going out there. Back to you, Andrew. Well, that is a shame for Maxime Hughes. You can see from his body language that he is disappointed. And uh, basically mentioning his displeasure, he felt that Hargrove and Raginger were a bit too hard in turn one. He's driving for the championship and they're not. So I'm sure they will have their own opinion. You never know. Maybe we can catch up with Raginger as well. Uh, we'll see if we can get Jenny onto that. Uh, completely understand, of course, when the drivers aren't particularly keen on talking to us, they're, they're talking to us, they're full of adrenaline. And uh, when you've retired from the race, you know, it's not it's not great for them. Of course, we all want to know what happened. At the front, Zhang Dasheng still leading from Scott Hargrove. Hargrove looks to me, while we were talking to Shoes, to have managed to close that gap down a little bit. Andrew Tang putting himself out in the mirrors of uh, Nico Menzel. Nobody making any attempt to make any passes right now. I think there's just the gaps are just slightly too big. As I say, that Andrew Tang has a little look, and uh, I think we have managed to catch up with Martin Raginger as well. So Jenny's with Martin now. Uh, Martin, we all know turn one's going to be tricky, and usually that's what that sort of accident happens. But it happened so fast. Can you take us through what actually happened? Yeah, first of all, we were lucky because I spun right in the field and um, I was lucky that nobody hit me. So, first of all, that's the most important thing um, yeah. because I had it already, I think, a few years ago in Suhai and the car was not so good. Yeah, and then uh, the start was good. Um, I don't know, it was already on the exit of the corner when I got the hit, so I really don't know what happened. Um, I knew Tsang Sheng was somewhere and um, I gave the space on the inside, but I don't know who hit me and what happened, but obviously it was uh, Maxime. Okay, so we're probably going to see the replays later on. Okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Back to you, Andrew. Thank you to Jenny and thank you to Martin as well for taking the time to speak to us. So he felt that he had a hit in turn one at the exit and as he said, he was lucky not to get collected. We have information from race control that the incident in turn one will be investigated after the race. So there'll be a full investigation into that. I'm sure they'll take everybody's judicial cameras from on board the cars, have a look and uh, take any action they deem necessary. Andrew Tang, we are on board with now. Again, having a look and up at the front there. I think we've seen a change of the lead on board with Andrew Tang. We're looking at a change of the lead, but it goes back the other way. So Scott Hargrove managed to get up the inside of Zhang Dasheng, but then has outbraked himself, and he's now under pressure from Nico Menzel. Menzel right up behind Hargrove. Fantastic on board pictures here from Andrew Tang as he looks at the battle for the place in front. They're going to compromise themselves into the left hander. Tang should close up here on the brakes. Oh, Hargrove runs wide. Menzel on the brakes up the inside. Hargrove's going to have to give that position up. 
So Menzel is inside. He just gives a little jink to the right. Hargrove runs wide again. And now at the inside of him, Andrew Tang is going to get the place as well. So Andrew Tang moves to the right. I think he's got Scott Hargrove covered off. So Scott Hargrove from P2 goes up to P1 in the hairpin. And just two corners later, he's down in P4. And we saw the whole thing on board with Andrew Tang. So great stuff. Uh, Mental running a little bit wide maybe on the entrance or maybe Tang turning in a little bit early. Hargrove still there. And Mitchell Gilbert now in fifth place. So Gilbert trying to put a bit of pressure on. Zhang Desheng now with a new chaser behind Nico Menzel. Looking to see if he can make a pass, but can Andrew Tang as well? Andrew Tang full of confidence, of course, having taken that win. In, uh, in Japan and up the inside, so up the inside, lovely job there. Andrew Tang didn't need asking twice, straight up the inside of Nico Menzel, that was a very clean pass indeed. And now Menzel will look to try and get that position back in the slipstream. No chance right now, Mitchell Gilbert moves across to the outside. Oh, Menzel goes defensive and Hargrove goes wide. Andrew Tang's gone really defensive as well. Hargrove trying to come around the outside of Menzel. I think he's going to do this, but Menzel's going to have the better line on the exit. Menzel on the gas with Hargrove now dragging it out down towards the next left-hander. It's over a crest and breaking into a fast left. In the background, Mitchell Gilbert moves to the inside as well. Gilbert's going to try and go three abreast into this one. That definitely will not work. And in the end, Menzel has to give the place up to Hargrove. So is Hargrove going to run wide? We've seen him run wide once already. But he doesn't this time, so Hargrove gets that position back. Menzel goes back from P2 to P4 in one lap. So lots of position changing in this one. To the left and the right where they have to feather the throttle, try and get the gas down. And that is playing a little bit into the hands of Zhang Desheng. So everyone behind him swapping places. Menzel now putting pressure back on Hargrove again. Hargrove holding on to third. Menzel sticks the nose up the inside. There's no room there. Can't get through, but he does this time. So Menzel's alongside Hargrove, but it's round to the left for the next corner. So Hargrove takes the position back. Menzel looking really racy here. Will want to get the pass done as soon as he can, because out front, Tang and Zhang Desheng are making a break for it. Hargrove goes on the defensive to the inside. And again, this is going to cost Menzel on the exit. Look at Mitchell Gilbert. Hargrove runs wide. Mitchell Gilbert with a better line into the last corner. So Gilbert now trying to outdrag down towards the first corner. Menzel, Menzel's going to go defensive. This is going to open up for Hargrove if they're not careful because they've got that really long straight. Hargrove now will open the gas up, try and get the slipstream on the cars in front. Mitchell Gilbert's going to cut a big hole in the air for him. He tries to go with him towards the inside. Gilbert sweeps towards the left and then the right pops out from behind Andrew, uh, sorry, behind Nico Menzel. Andrew Tang trying to come around the outside. So Andrew Tang making an outbreaking manoeuvre on Zhang Desheng who goes defensive himself. It is all kicking off in the top five here in round five of Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. One of the best races so far this season, I would say. And Tang is piling the pressure onto Zhang Desheng. He'd like to take his second victory of the season if he can. He won the first race in Japan earlier this year. Zhang Desheng now under increasing pressure for the lead. We've got a spin. So that is a spin for car 11. I'm having a look frantically to see who that is. And it's, uh, it's uh, Jeffrey Chang. But we're more interested in the battle out front. That's more like it. Zhang Desheng and Andrew Tang right behind him. So Andrew Tang all over the back of Zhang Desheng. These guys, thanks. And here we go, looking up the inside. Can't quite get it done there. Thinks better of it. And of course, every failed attempt means you lose a bit of ground. Has another look up the inside. Andrew Tang is up the inside of Zhang Desheng. That is a great move. You can pull it off, but he can't. All over the curbs on the inside too. So he's using more than track width to try and get the job done here in Thailand. Chang International Circuit at Buriram with a couple of big overtaking opportunities. This is one of them on the brakes down into the last corner. If you're not going to get it done, Andrew, then put it back on the racing line. There is that car stranded on the exit, so there might be waved yellows there anyway, which would suggest you wouldn't be able to make the move. Watch for Tang then in turn one. Pops out but decides against it. He'll be hoping that Zhang Desheng has made a mistake, but Zhang Desheng, we've got waved yellows again. So waved yellows in turn one, safety car. The safety car is out, and that is why we had that gap down in turn one. I wonder what was going on with Tang. So Tang wound it in on the way into turn one, and the gap suddenly increased. And that was because the safety car is out. So this is going to back everyone into each other. And I think we can expect to see some pretty exciting racing when we get the green flag again. So a few retirements. Daniel Bilski has retired as well, just to let you know. We did have a shot of that, but there was so much overtaking going on, we couldn't go to it. So great stuff from Porsche Carrera Cup Asia, the leading uh, one mate GT Championship in the Asian region. One of the biggest and best grids of all the Porsche Carrera Cups. 
fantastic to see so many of these cars and so many of these drivers really going for it. Disappointing that Maxime Juice and Martin Rackinger retired in turn one because I would have loved to have seen the race between those two guys. I think it would have been fantastic if you stick them in with these, we might have ended up with a really great battle. There is Maxime Juice wanting to have a little look. Now the safety car we're hearing from race control is due to the stopped car at turn 12. There's Yuan Bo. Whereas Yuan Bo is leading class B with Vutakornip through Fuvasak behind and then Sean Varney, another one of our new drivers. Down in the paddock, that's Daniel Bilski on the right. Having a quick chat as to why he retired, of course we don't know. So if you're not familiar with Porsche Carrera Cup Asia, the overall wins are for drivers who you might regard as professional drivers, and the Class B is kind of for drivers who are up and coming and for gentlemen drivers too. I think you'd have to say that Yuan Bo is certainly on his way to uh, heading towards the overall championship next year. They don't have to move up from Class B anymore. They used to have to if they won the championship, but now they can elect not to. But I think Bo, with his increase in pace, Yuan Bo, as the uh, season has gone on, Lights are out on the safety car. Yeah, I think Yuan Bo will want to move up to the overall category. Mitchell Gilbert behind Andrew Tang. Andrew Tang won't want Zhang Desheng to get away from him. And may have dropped the ball a little bit here because I think we're back underway as they cross the start-finish line. We're looking for a green flag. Well, the drivers will be able to see it even if we can't. There it is in the background, green flag. So we are underway again. Zhang Desheng leading from Andrew Tang and Mitchell Gilbert behind. And then Nico Menzel and Scott Hargrove. So look in the background, Tang pulls out, showing himself in the mirrors of Zhang Desheng. But for me, Andrew Tang wasn't quite close enough at the restart, but he's managed to drop Mitchell Gilbert, which is good for him. Tang just having a little cheeky look. Gilbert goes slightly defensive, but not a lot behind him. Menzel has a look. Yuan Bo on the right-hand side in the background. He's also in a little bit of a fight there. Who's with him? It looks like uh, William Bamba and Shui Yue just in front of him. On board again with Andrew Tang. We ride with Tang up behind Zhang Desheng. Are we going to see a move for the lead riding on board? Tiny little dab of the brakes into that very, very fast left hand up. Tang, as we saw from his qualifying lap, often uses the curbs on the exit there. Zhang Desheng went defensive. Probably doesn't need to. He'll be able to see in his mirrors whether or not Tang is going to be close enough to attempt to move. We are on uh, eight laps at the minute, so uh, we've got five laps to go. 13 lap race, or of course they can reach maximum race distance, but we're unlikely to do that unless we get rain suddenly. So these guys absolutely flying at the minute. And there is uh, the stricken car of the championship leader. Quick look at Maxime Schuster's machine in the pits. We don't know why he retired unless... Well, he was on a go slow, so he must have had a technical problem. Whether he broke a drive shaft or something in that uh, Turn 1 incident. Still didn't really make it clear. He said there was a car either side of him. He had nowhere to go, so we still don't really know what happened to him. Andrew Tang still trying to apply the pressure, but still unable to make a move. Everybody looking on from the pit perches. Tang now is really tight in the slipstream with Zhang Desheng. Tang moves across to the left-hand side as we look at it. Sorry, his left-hand side, the right-hand side for us. And uh, Santoyo's manager on the right-hand side of your picture. But back on the left is the fight for the lead. Zhang Desheng with Andrew Tang behind him. Mitchell Gilbert now making this a group of three. And they do seem to have broken away a bit. They have, so in the background, Scott Hargrove must be coming under pressure from Menzel. It's going to be costing him time. Oh, look at Hargrove in the background, really sending the Porsche into the left-hander. Yuan Bo as well, moving around as the car slides off the side of the track. Track limits, of course, important. The stewards would get involved if they felt anybody was using uh, too much of an advantage. Martin Rackinger did say to me he's not a big fan of some of the FIA circuits where... Uh, there we go, retirement for car number three. That is uh, Sean Varney, so Varney is out. Menzel using some of that runoff. Rackinger saying basically you can make a mistake. He said there's no risk to making a mistake. So you can really throw it in, see if it turns in. If it doesn't, you can run a bit wide and just pick the throttle up and carry on. And I know what he means. I mean, the AstroTurf is there to try and stop people from doing that as we see Shui Yue. Have a look up the inside of Nico Menzel. 
Uh, William Bamba behind them to pick up the pieces if he can. But it's all about this fight for the lead. Zhang Dasheng with Andrew Tang right behind. Zhang Dasheng currently fourth in the standings. Couple of good results, but no wins this season. So would dearly love to hang on, but he's going to have to do so for another three laps. We're on lap 10 at the minute. Mitchell Gilbert could help him out here if Mitchell Gilbert has a look at Tang. Gilbert sweeps out to the outside. He's going to go very deep on the brakes. Mitchell Gilbert goes, but Tang's going at the inside of Zhang Desheng. So Tang makes a pass to the lead. And I think Gilbert could come out of this in the lead if they're not careful. Gilbert gets the undercut on the exit, but can't quite get the job done. It is Andrew Tang who takes the lead from Zhang Desheng. Three cars heading down there into the hairpin at turn three. It looked like Mitchell Gilbert was going to get it done, but then on the uh, exit, didn't have quite enough space to pick the throttle up in time. Andrew Tang leading from Zhang Desheng. Tang looking to take his second win of the season. After that win in Japan, he will be very, very pleased indeed, as will Porsche China, of course. There were a lot to do with the scholarship in which Tang took part to win the drive this season, partly funded by Porsche China, who are a lot to do with the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. And Tang now is making a break for it. So Tang trying to gap Zhang Desheng behind him. Zhang Desheng is uh, under pressure big time from Mitchell Gilbert. Mitchell Gilbert really piling it on now himself with the pink rims on the absolute racing car. Teammate Yuan Bo, the leader of Class B overall and in this race. We haven't seen much of Class B so far. And now Mitchell Gilbert looking to make his way up into second place. Gilbert has a look up this side of Zhang Desheng. Is it inside or outside? It is inside into the next one. It's into the last corner, in fact. Oh, and there's contact between them. That's a disaster because Scott Hargrove is going to come past. Scott Hargrove slides his way up. So Scott Hargrove now moves into second place. Zhang Desheng's going to have another look down into turn one, but he's going to compromise his exit. We've seen this before. Mitchell Gilbert now is going to try and get the slipstream. See if he can make a pass at the end of the straight. Gilbert pulls out from behind Zhang Desheng. And Nico Menzel's there as well. So these guys are behind them. Uh, William Bamba in a car very similar to El Bamba's colours. If you've been looking at this championship for the last couple of years. Zhang Desheng inside Mitchell Gilbert. But Scott Hargrove in second place. Under pressure now himself from Zhang Desheng. So these guys have been swapping places the whole way through this race. Andrew Tang with a lead of 2.1 seconds after 11 laps. But who knows who's going to come through to second and third places on the podium in this one. Super tight race. Yuan Bo as well, the Class B leader. Look, he's right there with these guys. Shui Yue behind him. So Yuan Bo's passed one of the overall drivers to put a car between him and Vutikorn in for a Intrafusat looks to be a fair way back from that fight. He is, he's a further 2.5 seconds back. Menzel has a look at Gilbert in front. Can't get the nose up the inside. So not enough room there. Gilbert defending. Andrew Tang with the fastest lap time of the day, we're told. On 38.891. Passes lap time in this race, and Tang has just, uh, I think, two laps to go. And the last lap board is out, so it's on 11 laps of the timing screen. It flicks over to 12 as they cross the line. So just this lap to go. Andrew Tang looks odds on for his second win of the season, but it's all about second place and possibly now third, because I think Scott Hargrove has managed to gap them a little bit behind. So Scott Hargrove has just opened up a slight margin. But Mitchell Gilbert will want that last step on the podium if you can get it from Zhang Desheng. Gilbert moves to the inside. Zhang Desheng is going to break as late as he dares. Nico Menzel will try and pick up the pieces from these guys. Menzel goes deep. He'll cut back and try and open the throttle up earlier. Make the run on the way down towards turn four. See if he can get past. So Menzel now right in the slipstream in front of Mitchell Gilbert. And Gilbert with Zhang Desheng just in front of him. There really isn't a chance to pass down here. It's that very, very fast left-hander at turn four. A dab of the brakes over the crest, fifth gear into the left and on the gas. You could, if you were feeling brave, have a look up the inside here. But Zhang Desheng covers that off by breaking towards the middle of the road and then cutting in towards the apex, just meaning there is no chance. And there's one more overtaking opportunity as they go through turn seven and turn eight. 
And it is Scott Hargrove in second place at the minute. Will he get in any trouble for that turn one instant? Was he anything to do with it? The stewards will decide once this race is finished. I don't think anybody's going to need to decide what happens with Andrew Tang because Andrew Tang is out in front, unseen by us, and about to come round and take the chequered flag. The team are waiting on the wall for him. Here he is, Andrew Tang, down towards the last corner, breaks the Porsche hard. He'll turn it in through the hairpin. That is turn 12, comes through on lap 13. Andrew Tang takes his second victory of the season. Great drive by him. Scott Hargrove holds on, and it's a bundle of cars over the line for third place. It is Zhang Desheng from Mitchell Gilbert, Nico Menzel, William Bamba. Look at that super close finish. Yuan Bo Shui Yue, the top eight covered by less than eight seconds. What a fantastic race, and what a drive by Andrew Tang. Second win of the year for the Porsche China Junior program. What a top drive by that young man. Came here full of confidence, hoping that he would be able to get a decent result. I saw his parents at the airport. They said he's putting himself under a lot of pressure to get decent results after the win in Japan. And it doesn't get any more decent than that. Win number two for Andrew Tang. Well, there we are. Wind down lap for the drivers. Little drink for me. That is uh, one of the most exciting races I've seen in Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. I've been doing this championship for four years and that was an absolute stonker it really was some great clean passing just such a shame we lost to some Raginger because that would have chucked another couple of cars into the mix I think we might have seen the top 10 over the line within 10 seconds those guys hopefully will be back tomorrow neither of the cars look seriously damaged and the organizers of course do a great job of making sure they bring enough spares with them as we travel around the Asian region the cars in containers heading to Australia for the next event at Sydney Motorsport Park. First time ever for Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. That track, I'm told, a little bit different to this one. This one is an FIA spec, super wide, super smooth, loads of runoff. F1 type track and Sydney Motorsport Park is a bit of a bumpy old roller coaster. so who can uh, adapt best? Right, let's have a look at the start. I'd really love to see if we can see what happens, but I don't think we will. Watch Gilbert. He has to, sorry, Juice on the front row, dips the clutch. I mentioned that he went off the line. He had to dip the clutch to try and make the car turn in. So on his inside is Hargrove. On his outside is Raginger. There was the contact between them. Unfortunately, we don't follow it through turn one. So we don't get to see what happened. I know we had a drone up, so maybe we can find the footage for you for tomorrow. Remember, you can join us for tomorrow for round six. Raginger really lucky not to get collected. In the background, that's uh, Yui Tan taking avoiding action. There's Raginger in the gold car, the 86 car, spinning fully across the track in turn one. Lucky here that turn one, relatively slow. Not slow by any means, relatively slow. And I can see uh, from my monitors here that we've got the cars starting to pull into Park Ferme. So we'll soon have a podium celebration for you. Meanwhile, out on track, this was some of the passing further down the field. Action aplenty. It was the stuff up front, though, that was so exciting for me. In the background there, Yuan Bo. This was Yuan Bo's pass then on uh, William Bamba. Very nicely done into the left-hander, the tightening left-hander, the super quick left, first of all. Uh, more pressure here. This is Sutaluk Buncheron under a bit of pressure. Side by side as they head through the right-handers. Some great stuff further down the field. Now this was on board with Andrew Tang. Tang through the right-hander and onto the straight. We followed Tang, of course, as the, uh, as the leaders changed places. And again, more overtaking and a retirement uh, for one of the drivers later on in the race. And this is uh, Fung Yu Sum you're looking at there. Nico Menzel in front here uh, with uh, Scott Hargrove. Okay, Jenny is with our winner, Andrew Tang. So we're going to head down and have a catch up with Andrew Tang. See how he feels about his second win of the season. Andrew, congratulations on your second win of the season. That yeah. was an amazing job. You must be so happy right now. Yeah, it was... Uh, I can't even put it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, the team did a fantastic job. You know, we had a bit of a, a bad qualifying with all the red flags, but when uh, when it was important, we delivered. So I, just I mean, you stay calm through all that, you know, bit of an accident at the front. Yeah, it definitely helped. Uh, I got quite close to uh, clipping Raginger rag <coughs> on the uh, first corner, but... I made it through and then just a case of chasing everyone down so 
and mom's here today again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Alex, I see Alex right there. Yeah, uh, everyone's been such a great help and the support's been unbelievable. So couldn't have done it without them and the team. Well, congratulations again. And now enjoy your, you know, champagne and your award. Okay, I'll see you back in a bit. Back to you, Andrew. All right, Andrew Chang, very pleased, and rightly so. This was uh, this was Mitchell Gilbert, of course, and I think uh, Zhang Da Sheng. It was one of the many times they swapped positions. Or oh, is this a bit of contact further down? Well, that's Yui Tan coming very, very close indeed to touching with uh, John Shen. John Shen should have mentioned at the start of the race, but John unfortunately was demoted to the back of the grid. This was Mitchell Gilbert passing Zhang Da Sheng, and of course that in fact opened the door behind. Look at that, Scott Hargrove laying down the rubber. And Andrew Tang coming around that last call. There was a little bit of contact in the background. So all going off for P2. Meanwhile, Jenny has managed to find Zhang Dasheng. So let's go and have a chat with him. Uh, Zhang Dasheng, even though you didn't come on P1, but still a great performance. Are you happy with yourself? Yeah, I was happy with the results. And uh, the start is quite good. And uh, end of the race, the safety car is coming. So it's uh, make my uh, distance back. Uh, so I have to... I think uh, fighting with my uh, fighting with another drivers, but uh, it's a quite good race. I can finish on podium. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah, we we're also very very happy for you too. Um, and also, uh, you know, and tomorrow is gonna be another day, and then the weather could change. How are you feeling right now? I think uh, tomorrow will be another hard race for me, and uh, I started uh, in the uh, position four, and uh, I try to do my best, and no mistake, clean race. That's it. Let's hope for a clean race. All right, back to you, Andrew. Well, just a bit of news from race control for you. Scott Hargrove did receive the black and white flag for exceeding track limits, but I think that's only a warning, if I remember correctly. So shouldn't be disqualified from there. Scott finishing in second place. Zhang Desheng, who we just spoke to, was in third. You can see the cars down in Park Fermi. That will be the uh, top three from each of the classes, overall and Class B. Yuan Bo was the winner of Class B with Vutkorn Intrafuvasak uh, in second. And Li Chao came through to take third in that one, Wayne Shen fourth. There's another award as well for which of the drivers makes up the most places on the grid from their starting position. So we'll see who that is because we'll see them up on the podium shortly. As one of our intrepid cameramen down on the grid. I recognise that man. One of the guys from uh, the television team here who work hard to try and bring you uh, the coverage of this fantastic championship. Everybody waiting for the uh, podium celebrations. There are the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia girls waiting for uh, the trophy presentation. They're from Thailand, bless them. Very kindly helped me earlier on with the contents of a drink here. So we weren't sure, uh, we weren't quite sure what was in the drink and they uh, they let me know that it was okay to drink. So that was fine. I can't read Thai. There they are, up on the podium. The uh, camera just looking for a shot. So apologies for our technical difficulties here. There we are. And the uh, girls waiting for the podium, as we all are. So this is uh, just another little look at uh, Andrew Tang's on board. Andrew Tang, this was his lap from uh, qualifying this morning, and uh, we can confirm that we can head back to the podium now, which is Andrew Tang with the win from Scott Hargrove and Zhang Dasheng.
Good stuff on the podium. Thumbs up from all involved. Nicely done, I say, by uh, Andrew Tang taking his second win of the year. One more trophy for the cabinet. Second place, Scott Hargrove. I say, given a warning flag for track limits, but more importantly, it will be what happened in turn one and whether the stewards deem any action necessary. There was uh, some sort of contact between Hargrove, Maxim Juice, and uh, Martin Ragginger. And we may well find that Hargrove was completely innocent in that. Either way, it's a great drive to second place. And Zhang Desheng in third. Zhang Desheng, I'm sure, be a bit disappointed he couldn't hang on for the win. But uh, good job all the same. Time for the champagne. Andrew Tang first off the mark with that. And Hargrove uh, as well. The cameraman just out of range, it seems. The girl's not looking too impressed. They're going to try and hide from the champagne. Terribly sticky stuff, I'm afraid. Champagne, not what you want, especially when it's 30-plus degrees C, which it is here in Thailand. Heavy, heavy rain every day, but usually later on in the day. So I looked at the weather forecast before I came out here. My first time in Thailand, it said thunderstorms all day, every day, which I was slightly concerned about. It turns out it's very nice most of the day. And then we have a massive thunderstorm at the end. Driver's taking just a little bit of shade. That's uh, Yuan Bo with the yellow race suit on there. And uh, John Shen giving a cheeky little shoulder massage. John Shen, uh, where did John finish? So John was, I think, fifth in Class B. But I wonder if John has won the award for uh, most positions made up during the course of the race. On to the top step of the podium. Yuan Bo, second place, Vutikorn Intra Fuvasak. Bo looking really, really tired. With uh, John giving that little shoulder massage, you wonder if maybe he had a problem with the power steering or something because he really looks like he's physically gone through the mill there. It is incredibly hot here. It may just be how frantic the race was. The amount of action that happened in that one was something else. So Yuan Bo winning from Intra Fuvasak. Doesn't even have the energy to hold the trophy aloft. We'll have to get this man into the gym. I say it may be that the car was extremely uh, hard to drive. Have to have a chat with uh, Yuan Bo and find out why. But as it is incredibly hot. It was interesting talking to the drivers yesterday. Actually, no, lunchtime today. Yui Tan was saying how hard he found it in the car, how hot it was. And uh, Andrew Tang said, no, it's fine. Well, I didn't find it hot in any of the sessions. So the drivers did it different ways. Uh, Yui put that one down to age, I'm afraid. Yui Tang said, these young lads, it's, uh, it's too much. But there we are. Great win for Yuan Bo in Class B from Intra Fuvasak. And uh, Lee Chow. <laughs> John Shen there. Guns on show. Up on the podium. Nearly fell off the back of the podium just before that. So uh, providing all the entertainment. And uh, he gets the medal for uh, most positions made up. The champagne going off like shotguns, probably because of the temperature here. And the guys, it's a little bit too hot, I think. I think this might be the issue is how hot it is. People can't shake champagne and can't lift trophies. We're going to have to get them into uh, into podium training. There we go. Grand boat. Spraying a bit of champagne. So an absolutely fantastic race here. Round five of the Porsche Carrera Cup. Asia, we have round six tomorrow. If you'd like to join us for that, the race will start at 1.25. So we will probably be on air around a quarter past one. That's local time, Thai time tomorrow. Will Yuan Bo win another race in Class B? So far, he's won uh, three out of the four. Or is it four out of the four? Yuan Bo doing a great job. And uh, Maxime Juice. Can he come back and avenge that win from Andrew Tang? We'll have all the championship standings and all the updates ready for you tomorrow. We hope you can join us, I say, around a quarter past one local time. We'll see you then.